So, um, hello. In this video, we will be continuing our lesson on uh, comparing two means that are of independent samples. So, yeah. I'll be answering the last three questions in uh, this chapter in the ebook. Uh, so, we need to find A again, and then x bar 1, x bar 2, s1, s2, n1, n2. A is 0 0.01. Uh, researchers analyzed 12 samples of two kinds. So, the two kinds of coffee have 12 samples each. And... Uh, has 10 samples each. The caffeine in a cup, the weak hyperbolic espresso. So this is the first one, the uh, mean of 9.4 mg, standard deviation of 3.2. Brewed de decaffeinated coffee is uh, 12.7 with a standard deviation of 0.35. So how do we know which case is this? But before that, let's, let's identify uh, which tail of test is this? This is a uh, if, if there is a significant difference, that's what's being asked. This is a two-tailed test. And assuming unequal po population variances, um, let's check first if this is actually case 3. Because just by what's stated, this is case 3. And let's say N1, N1 is roughly equal to N2, or more so, it's equal. So this is either case 2 or case 3. But then... Uh, based on the S1 and S2, they are far from each other. So they basically define the fact that it's case 3. We use case 3. What is the formula for case 3? Um, in the previous video, we have already shown you a picture of it in the previous video. Uh, kindly check it out if you want to. But uh, cut to the chase, it is T calc is equal to x1 minus x2 those are all the all bars uh those are the sample means and then divided by s1 raised to 2 over n1 plus s2 raised to 2 over n2 so what's next x1 is 9.4 x bar 2 is 12.7 and then divided by for a while um s1 raised to 2 is 3.2 then raised to 2 over n1 which is 12 and then s2 raised to 2 we have 0 0.35 then raised to 2 over 12 also so place these values in the calculator but before that uh, let's start with the first step hypothesis so h o h1 Because this is a two-tailed test, we have equal and not equal signs. And then just put zeros there. And then uh, find the critical t value. Why is it t value? Why do we use a t table? Because it's case 3. Case 2 and 3 um, involve the use of the t table to find their t value. But for case 1, wherein n is greater than or equal to 30 for n1 and n2, uh, we use the z table. So yeah, uh, critical t value, this is a two-tailed test, so a becomes a over 2, which is 0 0.005, and the degrees of freedom is 12 plus 12 minus 2, that is 22. So a df of 22, and a, um, to call this, an a value of 0 0.005, uh, based on the t table, it is two point two point eight one nine. Okay, so far so good. Let's move to step two. Reject H O if was this T calc is less than negative 2.819 or t calc is greater than positive 
After that, we move to step three. Copy this. Um, X bar one is 9.4. I, I've already written it already. Uh, let's place those values in the calculator. What is the answer? We have negative 3.551, I think. Mm -hmm. And then this is TCOC. Okay, let's visualize. So, so far, uh, to visualize it, we have here 2.819. Here is negative 2.819. And then here is negative 3.551 and this region is reject therefore in our resolution we reject HO okay let's move to 10.8 the A X bar 1 X bar 2 S1 S2, N1, N2. So our A value or the level of significance is uh, 0 0.01. And then, uh, well, we have to calculate for the mean and the standard deviation manually given that we have these. So ready your calculator. I hope it's a Casio or something that um, you're familiar with in terms of its functionality because uh, that's the only way to easily look for the mean and standard deviation unless you do know the formula and, com and can compute it manually if you want to so uh, for Panera uh, this is going to be for Panera and this one is Brewegger so 171, 161, 169, 179, 171, 166, 169, 178, 171, 165, 172, 172. Okay, looking for the mean. It is 1. Oh, sorry, 170.33 or another 3. It's a non-terminating decimal. Bar, the standard deviation, on the contrary, is 5.033. And then how many samples we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 samples. Uh, that also goes for uh, the second sample set. We also have 12. So let's calculate for its uh, mean. 168, 165, 172, 151, 162, 158, 157, 160, 158, 160, 158, 164. So X bar 2 is 161.083. And then S2 is 5.567. Okay, so now we have the given. That's um, kind of difficult to do, especially if you're um, in a time constraint, you have to do all of this. So even computing for the x bars and the standard depths, their respective standard depths. Step one, uh, enumerate again the hypotheses. And then what kind of uh, tail test is this? Uh, assuming equal variances, so this might suggest it's case one or two, mean temperature higher 
Is it higher? So this one suggested it is a right-tailed test. Therefore, inequality signs will be like this. And then we just write zero. So critical, by the way, which case is this? Um, as you can see, n1 is roughly equal to n2. But it might suggest that this is not case 1. And then uh, s1, s2, they're roughly the same. Yeah, I think they're roughly the same. And then it says here, assuming equal variances. Equal variances is associated with case 2. So we have case 2. Okay, so critical, uh, this is case 2, right? So it's a t-value. Critical t-value, uh, what tail test is this? Right tail. So we don't have to do a over 2. So 0 0.01 and the degrees of freedom is 12 plus 12 minus 2, that's 22. So df of 22 and uh, a is 0 0.01, 2.5. And because this is a right tail, it's positive. Step two. Reject HO if T calc is greater than 2.508. And then step three, calculation. What is the case two formula again? I think we use case no. This is case three. For case three, the only difference of its formula with case two is that uh, for case two, uh, these, these are equal. This is sp raised to 2, sp raised to 2. But for case 3, as you can see, s1 raised to 2 and s2 raised to 2. So just in case your statistics teacher doesn't uh, give the formula in the exam, that's how you remember it a little easier. I hope that could um, make your memorization journey easier least in a certain reasonable degree anyways uh 170.333 minus 161.083 divided by uh what's our sp i always forget how to no no i always forget that we're supposed to calculate for sp raised to 2 so formula where is the formula i wonder this is the formula again go back to the previous video if uh, you want to go to the start when uh see first the uh, basic stuff because right now um, I'm not going to explain the easy stuff anymore the stuff that I mentioned in the previous video so n1 so 12 minus 1 then and then 5.033 raised to 2 plus 12 minus 1 times s2 which is 5.567 and then put raised to 2 over 12 plus 12 minus 2. What is that? So, calculator again. We have... 28.161 We'll be using that number So 28.161 Raised to 2 and then another 28.161 What's our n1 and n2? They're both 12 So What is the answer? Sub the values again in the calculator Input them We have 0 0.804. So, uh, let's draw. 
and provided that our critical T value is positive 2.508, it's somewhere here. And this is the reject region, by the way. And this is the do not reject. And then our T calc is somewhere here, 0 0.804. It's in the do not reject region. Therefore, our ruling in step four is that uh, we fail to reject HO. That means uh, there is significant difference, or in other words, in the context of this uh, question, because it's a right tail test, um, the mean temperature is not higher, or there is no significant difference, I think, because it's failed to reject HO. We don't reject the null hypothesis. We don't reject the fact that nothing changed significantly. Statis statistically significantly. So, yeah. Let's go to 10.9 for marketing class term project, public investigative review. Okay, uh, just copy paste the details that we need. Okay, 5% level of significance, 0 0.05. Uh, he asked 11 freshmen and 11 seniors. So I bet this is for the freshmen. Oh, wait. Damn. Okay, let's say this is seniors, freshmen. No, I think, I think freshmen comes first. I'm not sure if the order matters, but then... Yeah, naturally, freshmen are first-year college people, and seniors are fourth years, I think. Yeah, fourth years. Freshmen, sophomore, junior, senior. Um, X bar 1 is... Wait. Oh, yeah. Um, we're given a table again of values, and then we yeah, just have to manually compute for the mean and the standard deviation, the two of them, the two sets. So for freshmen, we have 16, and then 9, and then 17, and then 14, and then 15, 11, 18, 12, 7, 16, and 20. So for the mean, it's 14.09 or 091. And then standard deviation is 3.961. Okay, for the seniors, Let's um find their okay. F uh, we have ten, five, fifteen, thirteen, five, seven, eighteen, eight, nineteen, nine, and eight. So we have ten point six four oh no, ten point six three six. Let's just uh, round it off that way. And then standard deviation. 4.925 Okay Now we've uh, gathered the important data that we need uh, let's, assure, let's see what tail test this is Assuming equal variances I suggest case 2 uh, Case 2 but then there is one number difference in the S or the standard deviation most likely case two. Difference may not be that significant. Unless it's stated here that uh, we assume unequal variances. Ah, that's going to be a harder um, situation for us to determine if we're going to use case two or three. Okay, so can you conclude that means significantly smaller? Smaller suggests left tail test. So, okay, uh, conclude the mean, assuming equal variance. Let's try case two. What was my decision? 
when making 10.9 before uh, actually solving 10.9 yeah I used case 2 it kind of makes more sense if we use case 2 because we're assuming equal variances and so what's the case 2 formula d cal is equal to you know what copy paste again yeah this is the one okay let's start with uh, the first step hypothesis h o h one this is a left tail test so the inequality signs are going to be like this and then zero zero critical uh, t value because this is case two it's t value uh, we look for wait left tail test so a is 0 0.05 only degrees of freedom is equal to 11 plus 11 minus 2 uh, 11 plus 11 is 22 minus 2 is 20 so df is 20 and yeah based on the t table uh, we have 1.725 negative 1.725 why is this a negative integer because it's a left tail test should it be a right tail then it's going to be positive should it be a two tailed it's going to be plus minus but then it's a left tail so it's negative that's uh, step one step two reject h o if t calc is less than negative 1.725 And then step three is the computation. So sub the values, what do we have again? We have 14.091 and then x bar two is 10.636. And then uh, why SP2, we have to solve for SP2. Oh my goodness. Uh, copy paste the formula again copy paste and one is 11 11 minus one and then uh, s1 raised to 2 is 3.961 raised to 2 plus and 2 is 11 then minus 1 and then s2 raised to 2 is 4.925 raised to 2 divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 okay so what is the result of this put the values in the calculator let's find out 10 times 3.961 raised to 2 plus 10 times 4.925 raised to 2 over 11 plus 11 minus 2 we have 19.973 to do is 19.973 19.973 raised to 2 and 1 again to I mentioned this in the first video I'll mention it again um, this three um, even though this is uh, this is uh, SP raised to 2 and this is exactly SP raised to 2 why do we have to raise it to 2 more Furthermore, uh, for some reason, but then if you don't put raised to two here, then you're gonna you're gonna uh, you're gonna get a different answer, something that isn't correct. So just get with get rid of those, I guess. So n one is eleven, n two is also eleven. So eleven eleven sub the value, sub the calculator. What will you get?
Okay. Step 4, what is our ruling? We have negative 1.725. And we have 0 0.406. In the left tail test, this region is reject. This region is not reject. So technically, it, it lies in the region of not reject. Therefore, we fail to reject HO. I wonder if I have the same answer with the answer key. Just as it should be. I bet, I think my answer is wrong, wait. I think we're supposed to use case three. Let me double check. I think I can see my mistake now. Let me just... Uh, something that I mentioned earlier about um, if order matters... Yeah, order matters. Freaking... Oh my gosh. Yeah, order matters. Order freaking matters. Seniors... Wait. Oh my gosh. This is so... So... Freshman comes second. Seniors come first. And we use case 3. For some reason. For some freaking, freaking reason. reason. So, I guess this is going to be 1. But then, it says here, uh, freshmen, freshmen were mentioned first. Before seniors. But I guess I should have followed the order here. Seniors first, then freshmen. Now we know, at least. So basically, um, nothing's wrong with the solution except for this one. Uh, this is supposed to be case 3. So the formula is going to be like this. S1 and S2. By which, we don't have to compute for this one. So, what do we do? We just copy what's given. So, uh, yeah. S1 is 4.925, raise it to 2. S2 is 3.961. And then, uh, this is the other way around. Then you'll get negative uh, 1.813 by which it's located over here in the reject region. Therefore, we reject HO. Damn, bro. I should have checked the answer key first. So reject HO, I can guarantee that this is already correct. And then, let's see, uh, 10.7, we also reject. And so yeah, um, those are the three problems. Um, I can't guarantee if this is correct, but yeah.
based on the information, see what's, what may be wrong. But uh, this is everything that I've understood in uh, my review so far. My quiz is in a few days. Uh, wish me luck and yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for appreciating uh, my um, intention to share my knowledge on what we're learning at school. Thank you.